Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? We're starting a little bit of Elder Scrolls Online, and I'm super excited. I hope you're super excited, because this is going to be a good time, and I hope uh, you guys enjoy watching me as I dwell through the Elder Scrolls Online open beta. Here we go. Let's begin by starting off our character. Alright. So right now I have it on veteran gear, but um, you know I kind of want to see what these guys look like when when they start. So so let's go ahead and uh, put it down in novice gear for now. And now the Imperials, it seems like they are all red guards. Am I right? No, maybe they're a different race. I'm not I'm not too uh, keen on the whole. Uh, Elder Scrolls universe so if you guys know definitely let me know in the comments and um, we'll figure this out so the Imperial seems like it's actually a race which is interesting but it doesn't seem like they're part of any um, specific faction they can be any faction see that or actually yeah it's a race but which faction should we be a part of I am kind of fond on the Argonian, Dark Elf, and Nord, um, just because they're, I would say, like the ugliest, but hmm, the most variety, I would say, is probably this one right here. It's got Bretons, Orcs, and Red Guards, although this one does have Cats, Wood Elves, and also High Elf. We might have to go with the Almeri Republic with an Imperial. Alright, let's check this out. So I played Sorcerer before on the last open beta test that they had. And uh, I wasn't a big fan of the magic. It was a lot of, uh, you know, just casting spells. It wasn't my, my cup of tea. So let's see what these veteran veteran gear Dragon Knights look like. Alright, that's pretty cool. Nightblades. Got these guys. Oh, that looks pretty sweet, the Nightblades. Oh man, these Templars look pretty awesome too. Holy crap. Novice gear, how are you looking? These guys are, looks like they're kind of healers. They're almost like paladins in other games. Dragon Knights are kind of like, let's see, the melee class. You know, I don't think I've tried a Dragon Knight, so I'm kind of curious. I might want to try that. So I know Nightblade is all about sneaking around and stuff, but this this is like pure out, you know, Masters at Arms, Akaviri Martial Arts. All right, let's do that. All right, take off your clothes real quick so we can make you look, you know, lean and mean course it's how I'm built in real life right there so would it be cool if in real life you could just slide your your muscles up on a scale on a, on a little pie graph like this or a triangle that'd be cool all right so since I'm building like a warrior class character I kind of want to be a little muscular Let's see what he would look like if he had gear on Let's see maybe a little thinner I don't want him to be like a you know like a little little guy <laughs> so I think right around there I do want to keep the uh, the slider all the way to the top right. I don't want him to be like bloated, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, he can look pretty chubby if you go all the way down like this. That that is a that is that is a true man right there. All right, so we're right about here, I would say. And let's lose a little bit of that definition uh, right about there. All right, skin color. Let's see what what the different skin colors we have here are. Mainly you're going to be seeing his face, so, you know, I got to I gotta worry about this guy's face. I definitely don't want him too dark. Alright, so I'm looking at, like, right around here. Alright, let's keep it right there. Let's uh, move this body marking all the way to the side here. We'll worry about that later. So we'll lock that for now. Lock the skin color, the height. Actually, the height, we didn't, we didn't check, check that out yet, but I'm not exactly sure what this uh, determines here so let's take a look see here all right so we want our guy to kind of be just like right right around there I don't want him too tall I don't want him too short so right around there let's lock that in place when you lock it I think uh, when you click the random button it doesn't actually change that which is kind of nice so whoa this guy has no ass that 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 can't do I got I gotta have an ass who are the girls gonna look at 
So let's go ahead and add a little bit of posterior there. Legs are okay, I guess. This guy has not worked out much with his legs, so let's go ahead and put that up. You want to be like a Spartan, you know? Spartan? Maybe I should build a Spartan. In that case, let's move this up just a little bit more. Like that. There you go. Look at this Spartan. I just watched 300 the other day. Again, it was amazing. All right, chest size. What is this? torso size? What does this do here? All right, so we want to be big. Chest size. Let's see what chest size does. Oh, yeah. This thing is just right there. Gut size. Right about there. Let's see what the waist size does. Yeah, let's go like right there. Arm size. We want like massive arms. like Kind of like right there. Hands. Uh, I'll just keep it right there. I like, you know, petite hands like my own. Like my own hands. They're pretty petite. Hip size. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's weird. Uh, you know, man's gotta have big hips. Birth, baby, baby birth and hips, right? <laughs> Isn't that what they call them? Right? Alright, let's go ahead and lock those in place there. Click those locks. Posterior dimensions. Let's go ahead and slide that around. Oh, right. Back here. So let's go ahead and put that, like, right there. That looks like a good butt. Leg size. Let's make sure uh, leg size slider is pretty high. All those Spartans are pretty beefy, so go right about there. And lastly, foot size. What is this? This is just big, bigger feet. I'm gonna put that like right there. All right. Now, if I'm correct, I should be able to click the randomize appearance button without any issues. I hope. I hope. 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 So if this changes everything, I'm gonna be pissed. Ready? Here we go. Yes, it only changes face. Awesomeness. So everything else is all set. Now that we uh, now that we did his body and everything, we don't really need to see that much anymore. Oh right, there's body markings. We did not we did not do this one yet. Let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of body markings they have. Um, looks like this one here. Some freckles, freckles here and about. We got uh, some like age marks here. Yeah, like some aging marks or something. Got a cool like, like line thingy. Got some. That's kind of neat. I like that. I don't like what's going on with his face though. Oh wait, that must be a thing in here that I set incorrectly. Let me turn those all off real quick. All right, let's go back to his um, his body markings here. Got some uh, some kind of scarring going on there. I don't know if I like that. This guy's like Zuko right here, <laughs> freaking deformed, and he's got the, the balding hair. All right, half burnt. Got some scarring. I like he has a scar over his chest, right where his heart it would be. Kind of cool. All right, we got some lines. Looks like some bear grabbed his chest. You know his shoulder right there. What are we looking at here? Looks like you got some pick marks right there. Looking at uh, a few more lines here and there. Alright, no good, no good. Not a fan of these black ink tattoos. Let's just quickly scroll through those so you guys can see what they look like. Alright, alright. Alright, I see what you're doing here, Elder Scrolls Online. Alright. Whoa, that's weird. Like a superhero uh, shirt. <laughs> if he was wearing a muscle shirt and then he had this on top of it. All right, so I'm kind of digging like the the cuts and stuff like that. That's always cool. You know, this is a grizzled war vet. He's he's coming out of war and he's ready to you know sacrifice his life for the the horde. All right, so let's go ahead and pick something like uh like he's he's been he's seen some troubles. He's seen some rough times in his life. So this this is not. We're looking at like number five here, I think, right around there. Look at this. Look at these. He's seen some bears and claw marks. He's he's done hunting. That's what. That's where he got these marks from. Uh, what's this guy's name gonna be? Um, uh, Lyle. That's a good name. All right, let's go ahead and lock that in place here. We got all those locked. All right, Lyle. Let's go ahead and randomize your face a few more times. See what kind of what kind of Spartan we are? All right, not not that kind. Nope, nope. 
All right. All right. Grizzled, grizzled tough guy look. Got the mohawk guy going. All right. This is the this is the Spartan that never saw war. He was too busy uh you know, dancing at the ballroom. <laughs> okay, let's continue on here. Eye patch is cool. <laughs> that mustache on that guy is ridiculous. All right. So I'm not finding anything that I like in these randomized appearances, so I'm just gonna stick with this right here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to build our own our own guy. Let's see what this slider does: heroic, soft, angular. So angular is more like the the sly look. Heroic is more got the big big you know Clark Kent type jaw, and soft is just like a baby. Look at this baby, baby, want to cry? All right. So in the middle, have this look. So I kind of like this angular, but I also like heroic. But I, I like heroic a little better. So let's go to like right about there. All right. Oh, voice is nice. All right. Let's go ahead and lock that guy. That's some good noises. All right, let's go down to B. I want a grizzled like you know, three hundred. This is Sparta voice. That's not it. That's not. I don't want to hear my guy doing that. That's not a good laugh. That's not a good laugh. Let's go ahead and continue on to D. This is like. This is like the 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 nerd that's fixing your computer in in Elder Scrolls. A little higher pitched than I'd like. Little, definitely a little higher pitched. A little bit too much laughing, laughing going on there. I do like G. Let's see what H is like. Going with G. G is locked in. All right. Let's see what hairstyles they have here. We got we got the the shave. We got the uh, the swashbuckler. I'm gonna name all these as we go along. We got the uh, slight samurai knot. Kind of like that. It's kind of cool look. We got a. Uh, we got the. I can't believe it's not butter guy. <laughs> we got a uh, you know, you no know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Short hair guy. I don't know what to call that. All right, all right. Got a little, got a little fade going on there. Needs to get those sideburns cut though. Ooh. All right, Mohawk McGee. Mohawk McGee. McGee. Nice. All right, let's continue on. Alright, I do like the short mohawk. That's always a good look on on dudes. You know, rocking a full hawk myself. So I wish that was in the game. It's a good look. Good look right there. Not a not a good look. This guy has seen his days. This looks like the uh the R what is it? Was it Argonian or something like that in three hundred that like ran off? He's like, I'm taking my force, but good luck to you, Leonidas. Alright. This is uh <laughs> This is the friar from uh, Robin Hood, pretty sure. All right, this is a bald guy, not growing any hair anymore. Poor guy. Short, short hair right there. This looks like uh, looks like the dude from, you know, Flynn Rider from Tangled. Let's move along. I thought we saw this hair already. What's going on here? This is different than the other one. Let's go ahead and move along. Mohawk McGee is not a fan. This is <laughs> this is the look right here, Travis. From Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead here. I do like this cut right here. This is a classic, you know, uh, classic Greek cut, I would say. So we'll keep that in mind there. Got a little bit of Tom Cruise in the Last Samurai action going on there. 
Moving along. Oh, this is kind of interesting. This is like, uh, you know, let's cut our hair on the side and keep it long in the back. All right, moving along. We got the reggae singer. He's here. Amon. Hey, All right. Complicated hair. He spends a lot of time in the morning doing his hair. I don't know if a Spartan would do that. This is a. Uh, got some braids going on here. Not a fan. Not a big fan of that. Here we go. Here we go. A little, little bit of you know, South American look there. I don't know how I feel about this one either. It's not it's not very great there. This is a classic, a classic knot right there. Look at this thing. I'm just worried about when you run. It's gonna, you know. Alright, we're gonna go with the Caesarian Julius Caesar type, you know, cool hair. Where's where's that where's that hair at? I think it was like right over here somewhere. Was it that early on? No, it wasn't that early on. Where are you at, hair? Where are you at? Where'd you go? There you go. It's a good look. Let's do black hair. Just because my hair is black. Alright, we don't want to be too young. So we're going to you know, move it over to the grizzled side a little bit. He's seen his years of combat and war. That's how he got those scars, you know. Let's lock that hairstyle and that, uh, that hair color. Age is looking... Uh, it's looking alright. Let's see... I want a few lines, but not much. Right there. This guy looks like he's in his mid-30s, right? That's a little too much if I go that far. Let's stick it right around there. You know, he's he's a young young fellow in his late 20s. He's seen a lot of war before his 20s, which is crazy, because you don't really see that these days. And adornments. Let's see what we got here. All right. Alright, 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 <laughs> alright, I see what you're doing here, Elder Scrolls. Let's keep going with the adornments. The head is ridiculous, alright. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. That, <laughs> that is the same little uh, beard thing that Leonidas had, almost. So I, I kind of like that. Because as ridiculous as it was in, in the movie, it, it, was, it was, you know, his standout thing right there. There you go, something like that. That looks weird. I don't know how I feel about that. I might just go for a bunch of like kind of kind of unshaved look. Is this the best unshaved that they have? Let's see. Let's continue on with the shaving. Let's check in with our viewers real quick here. We have zero viewers. Awesome. Thanks, Twitch. You are awesome. <laughs> All right. Continuing on. Let's take a look. See at what, what kind of uh. What kind of beard we can find for our guy here? It's a little intense, man. I don't know about that guy. See, I'm kinda, I kind of like this, but how would it look if he had some gear on? Uh, that's kind of weird. It's too dark. It's too dark, I think. Let's move it back to the... Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of digging this... Uh, let's say either this one... Or this one. This one's a little less like neat. This one's kind of trimmed up a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is, this is a good look. Lock that there. Head markings. Let's see what we got. We got some freckles. Got some war war guys. Got some lines. Some more eye guys. Some scar guys. I like scar guys. If you remember Leonidas got cut in the eye like straight down by that big beastly fella. That was cool. That was a cool scene in the movie. Cut through his sword. We're definitely gonna have to get one of these scars on our eyeballs somewhere. This is, this is mascara right here. It's like, I'm gonna cast a sorcery spell on you. <laughs> All right, moving along, moving along. Let's see what we got here. We got some dark stuff. We got some some lighter stuff. All right, all right. I see what you're doing here. You guys can tell that I spent a lot of time creating characters um, with these games. Like I, I love, I love character creating. It's one of my favorite parts of these games. I have a friend who just hates this stuff and just like randomizes his appearance. It's never good, never a good thing. This guy's gonna be with you for a long time. So I do like this cross scar across the face. So we're gonna stick with that. I'm sure a lot of players are gonna have it, but it's cool. It's cool. So here we're looking at, uh, we're looking at forehead slope. 
Okay. So, uh, you know, we're gonna have that right in the middle because I'm not, I'm not, I don't really know what that does. Cheekbone size. Let's see here. Move that around a little bit. All right, we don't want it sticking out like that. That looks weird. Cheekbone height. Let's move that kind of in the middle there. Jaw size. Let's see. Menacing jaw. Right about there. Chin size. I want a big, big, burly chin. Because, uh, you know, a bigger chin makes you a bigger man. All right, right about there. Neck size. I want this thing just thick. Thick neck. Thick neck McGee. That is... That might have <laughs> Thick Neck McGee. All right, that's our pending name right now. All right, let's go ahead and lock some of these guys in place here so we don't accidentally click anything wrong. Neck size. That's pretty thick. Pretty thick. Pretty thick Neck McGee. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Got dark eyes. Got some blue eyes going on here. Uh, what what eye color do Greeks usually have? I don't I don't I'm not too keen on Greek mythology apparently too. Is this a question for Google? Okay, glass. What eye color are Greeks? Most common eye color in Greece. All colors are common. Brown. Brown is the most common eye color among the vast majority of ethnicities. Thanks, S M. C W H D T M C. That's okay. So brown it is. We're gonna go with the little little brown color here, right around there. That looks like a good brown. Is there like a lighter brown? I think that's that's kind of a deep brown. A deep look into my eyes and get lost in mystery brown. Let's continue on. Locking, locking. Eye size. I want our guy aware, you know, eye angle. Don't want to make him, you know, have his eyes all squinty. That's never a good thing. I know from personal experience. Eye separation. Eye separation is a big thing that can break, make or break your character when you're making these characters. You don't want his eyes too close together. He looks weird. So you don't want him too far apart. It looks weird. So you want to have him like right there balanced. Should be able to fit an eye inside of his eyes. I learned that from, uh, some class, I don't remember which one. Eye height. Let's keep that right about there. I squint. We don't want to squint. Our guy's not our guy's not blind, but we don't want him his eyes too open. Look at that, that just looks weird. He's like, What? Am I going to war? <laughs> what is this? What is this? The battle of something? Eyebrows. Let's see what kind of eyebrows we got here. Move this slider all the way to the left. Alright, not a fan. Nope. Not well, not like this. There's a good one. Fourth one over. All right. It's got the unibrow going on. <laughs> not a fan of the unibrow. Oh, look at this! This is like the uh, the evil Asian warlord eyebrow right there. That's awesome. All right, let's continue on. All right. So I think I still like the fourth one the best. Two, three, four. This one's not it. I don't know. Kind of like the thinner look too. Right here. That one's kind of nice. It gives them a little like, am I am I going somewhere in life? Look. Height. Gotta have it nice and low. This guy's devious. He's up to something no good. No good. It's like, hello, hello, how you doing? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and keep that like right there. And eyebrow depth. All right, right about there. This is a this is a true hero right here. I'm I'm excited to see where this guy is gonna go in life. In our journey through Tamriel. All right, guys, that looks pretty good. Nose height. Right about there. Width. Looks good. And most importantly, length. Don't want Pinocchio over here. So we're going to keep it right around there. Let's take a look at what that looks like from all angles. 
All right, we are just about wrapping up here with the character creation process, and uh, let's let's check in with the mouth height here. I like that the mustache or his little goatee guy kind of moves with it. See that it doesn't just clip over it like most games would. Let's go right about in the center there. Curve. <laughs> this is this is the happy Spartan. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put that down like that, right around there. He doesn't have much to be happy about these days after losing his his uh, his girlfriend uh, in the in the big big uh, barbarian raid that occurred several years ago when he was 12. He's currently uh, 20 28. Let's go with 28. I turn 29 next year, so or next month. So let's keep that right about there. No, no kissy lips, guy. No kissy lips for you. Your girlfriend died in the the great barbarian raid of of one one BC. Your size. All right, let's go right about there. Ear rotation. That looks weird. I don't know what's going on with this ear rotation stuff, but let's just keep that right about there. I don't want to play around with that ear stuff too much. All right, go right about there. Your height. This moves your actual ears up and down. I think. Yep, right there. So let's just keep that right there. Ear tip flare. This is a. Uh, this is more elf or not? I think. Nope. It's not. It's not moving anything. Let's take a look from this angle. All right. I think we finished our our character fully here. So I'm pretty happy with what I got here. Everything's all locked. We're locked and loaded. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, gear up a little bit. So here we are, Thick Neck McGee. All right, let's let's pick a proper proper name for him. What's a what's a great name for a Greek warrior? Greek names for boys. All right, Greek baby boy names. <laughs> let's see what's popular these days. Abdurus. Bellerophon, Lystragonus, Radamanthus, Sebastiono. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about these. Obelix, Timothy. <laughs> Why say that all? Timothy. All right. So we got Antolicus here. Just kind of a cool name. Uh, moving along. Zephyr. 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 Zephyr is kind of a cool name. Give that a try there. Zephyr. Zephyr. Look at this guy. This guy looks like a Zephyr. I don't know. That's kind of a weird name though. Alright, let's let's uh let's pick another name. Let's see what else we can find. Uh Z Z Z Zadu Zad <laughs> I'm just making up names. I'm just like Zephyr Raphimus. Jeremy. Apparently that's a really popular popular name. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Napoleon? That's a weird name. Huh. Ancient Greek names. Ares. Name is taken. Of course. Of course. Leonidas. <laughs> I will be... Nope, already taken. Alright, let's, uh... I guess uh, I guess all these names are taken because they're good names, right? Right? Um, let's see here. Let's try this one here. Emerus is taken. Awesome. Um, we'll have to go Japanese then. Kizura. Kizura. Create. Already taken? Are you serious? Wow. Life life is rough. Uh, gosh. Who knew choosing a name was so hard in games, guys? I didn't I didn't know this. I always have a tough time, you know. I, this guy's name's gonna be there for a long time. Although this beta only goes on for the weekend, so this guy's gonna get deleted in like a few days. Well actually he'll still be around for the beta, but let's see here. Ends with the letter. 
Um, let's jam some buttons together. Fjorling howl. Fjorling horde. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Give me, give me some ideas. If there's anybody watching, there you go. These guys are. This guy's giving me some ideas here. Blue, high, these George, Eris, Menlife, Menclure. All right, I don't, I don't know if I, how feel, how I feel about those names. Uh, oh man, this is rough. Uh, uh let's see here. Uh, Uh Tranquilius Tranquilius Devarius De Devourus De Dever De De Tranquilius Divine Divine There you go. That is our that is our three hundred Spartan name. Tranquilius Divine <laughs> We're entering the Wailing Prison, guys. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. We're finally gonna give this a go. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're loading. I could use a snack, though. Let's let's grab a snack real quick here. Ugh. All right, we're in the game. We're starting up this beta. It's uh, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I say morning because I usually don't wake up this early, but. I just got back from Japan and the trip was exhausting and my sleeping schedule is all messed up. So, I don't... Mmm. Alright ladies and gentlemen. Whoa, my mouth is really dry. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen. Is there any drinks in here? Ah, a bottle of water. I don't know how long this has been here. Is it bad to drink water? A long time after... You uh, open it, I guess. I don't know. All right, moving along. We're finally in the game. We've created our character. Here we have character stats, and we're looking at Tranquilius Divine, an Imperial Dragon Knight. Look at him, ready to go, raring to go. All right, guys, what are we looking at here? Some cool shadow effects there on the ground. They actually move. Somebody's talking. Let's go ahead and turn on, um, turn on, uh, let's see here, what kind of audio? We're looking for subtitles. Subtitles? Are you guys in here somewhere? No subtitles, huh? No subtitles. Alright. Uh, no subtitles? Subtitles. I guess you guys don't get to see what what actually uh, the text is, so we'll just have to imagine what they are. Whoa! All right, Prophet, how are you doing? Sorry, you've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. All right, I will take a few moments to collect myself. And I'll also add these into the mix, guys. Just in case you're wondering, here goes my information. And we're playing a little bit of the Elder Scrolls Online, as you see up in the top left corner there. Right top left corner, that's the one. All right. Uh, give me so some information, you, guy. You've been through Who's this guy? What's happening? Think of like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. What do you want with me, dude? You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Me? <laughs> must escape All right. From cell, take up arms and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titanborn. Lyris Titanborn. Who's that? You didn't tell me anything. Who is that? <laughs> what did you? What? Okay. You we are escaping. Let me open your door. Thanks, buddy. That's it. Quickly. You must escape before the guards return. Open that door. Pushing that pushing that door open there. Shift to sprint. Quickly. Follow the So that I just dropped crumbs all over my mouse pad. 
Oh, Alright, let's run in first person a little bit. There's a lacking of, um... There's a lacking of, uh, what is it called? Character Bob. It throws me off when there's no Bob when you run. I guess it's not an option. Alright, good job. It looks like I'm just kind of floating, you know, when I run in first person view, which I don't like. Alright. Let's see what's going on over here. Got some epic war going on, a little bit of music. Got a sword here. We got a sword, that's all we got. This is different than uh, than before, guys. We used to have options. I guess we can only have a sword. Let's take that. I for inventory. Mouse over, press E. Got it. Uh, we got left trigger, hold left trigger, and right uh, to shield. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, look at this. Huh. Huh. All right. Good job, Tranquillion. Oh god, we got our first enemy here. Come on, bring it on. Haha, -ha, you're dizzy. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Yeah. Am I hitting him? Oh, I gotta look at him. That makes sense. Alright, we killed our first enemy. We'll call him Billy. Alright. Put that away for a little bit. Alright, guys. We're doing pretty good so far. Okay, that's what's going on. Fight, fight the uh, skeleton archer. So in the latest patch, they made it so you can't run through the enemy. So I'm, if I press forward here, there's actually like physics on this guy, so I can't actually walk through him. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got an interrupt move. Who's this lady? It's the lady we're looking for. You got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. Awesome. Well, you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Whoa! I got bullet mouth. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. Hmm. Mm. What? Who told you to find me? Strange guy. Prophet. He spoke to you? What did he say? He said our fates are intertwined like a web. Ha. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. He's a good guy. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Dude, I still have voices in my head. I think I'm crazy. Break him out, of course. <laughs> Believe me, I can use all the help I can. Get. Oh shit! What did I do? <laughs> oh no! Meat on your bones than most of these. All right, all right, skip that. Prophet. Ha. That's Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us. I'll help you. Home. Let's go. You got your sword out. Let's go. All right, I guess I'll go. Pretty game, pretty game so far. Let's get out of this tutorial area quickly and um, get into the main meat of the game. I'm excited to see what happens. We made it. All right, we made it. Tell me something. Come, the sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. Got Magical you constructs created by Molag Ball to guide. Molag Ball. The sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck. Will buy us the time we need. To. I have no idea. Brute force. We'll find a way. We have to. Let's go. Ain't no time to dindle around. Dindle? Is that a word? That's not a word. Dindle around. All right. So I got I got something going on up top here. Some uh, some arrows. Oh, that's that. That's her. Okay, we gotta go this way. Let's go this way. All right, guys. So I'm currently running this on the highest settings, although the Twitch stream, I think, is uh, streaming at 720p right now. So uh, so it might be downscaled just a little bit, but you can get a general idea of what the graphics will look like when it actually does release. And uh, I'm excited. The frame rate's not too bad right now. So. Okay.
Okay. Good job, Quizly. Man. Attribute, attribute, attribute points available. Cool character skills. We got one point. Let's put this in somewhere. Fiery grip, pull towards you and deal 14 damage. Draconic power, increase armor. Oh no. Stone fist, deal 16 physical damage and knocks down enemy for three seconds. There's a lot of different things you can upgrade. It looks like. I wonder if there's spears in this game because um you know. Being a, I guess one-handed shield, one one hand and shield would be a, a big thing for, you know, a 300 Spartan. So let's go ahead and put a skill in a puncture. We got it. We got it, guys. We got puncture. All right. We're almost at the top of this hill. Let's see what we got up here. Hey, guy. Quizly. What a what a good guy. All right. Let's move this mouse sensitivity up just a little bit. It's a little bit on the slow side for my liking. Where is mouse sensitivity? Mouse sensitivity is not there. Are you in here? Nope, you're not in there either. Camera. Rotation speed. All right, let's put that up to like 46. Much better. All right, Chirakan. Let's see, destroy. Gotcha. Boom! And that's how the Sentinels die. Well, he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. Alright, let's go. Oh crap! Try our new move. There goes our new move, guys. Cool. Wow, I almost died just now. I've never I've never died in this game before, so let's not make this the first time <laughs> during a live stream. Hey guy, what's up? Right, got some gold. Did I take it? E to take, got it. R to take all, so E R. All right, guys, we gotta get over to this uh, this prophet guy right here. All right, let's try sneaking up on this guy. Wait right there. Yeah, that's right. All right, making progress, making progress, taking names. Alright, let's go up here and free this prophet from his cell. These are real players the right here. Warded. We'll never get in this way. That's kinda cool. Let's try interacting. First time interacting with anybody. Hello. I'm Divine. That's <laughs> that's the most ridiculous thing that anybody has ever said. Alright, we gotta talk to Lyris. Lyris. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell, got it. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. Mm -hmm. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely it's harmless. It's a shame. You'll see. I know some people who've gone crazy before. How can this madman Cadwell help us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. It's like Tahiti. And he knows it like the back Tahiti of Tahiti is a wonderf wonderful place. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Let's go. Alright, I like to jump in MMOs, so this is all I'm going to be doing the rest of the game. Sorry, guys. Sorry if you're afraid of heights. Jumping is awesome. Alright, that guy looks like he's fine. All right, hey, there we go. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead. Hello, what's this? After a stroll in, lovely day for it. Yeah, you're right. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. I could tell you were him because you're Sir crazy. Lyris, good you're wearing to see a. You, my dear. How are you? You're wearing a bowl on your head. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't mm. it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in, much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses. I love this voice nasty actor. Nasty beasties <laughs> filling up the bits in between. How do we get through all that? Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like is not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Mmm, go 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 go. Follow the river. 
You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give it my best. Sorry, I needed something to drink really badly eating this this uh breakfast bar. Thanks. What <laughs> I don't know what he said. Water's end, got it. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land and my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, mm. you make the best of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven of those who didn't go feel that. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. Nice. Ah, Lyris, girls as mad as sheer gorus and jabbies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. Hmm. Let's go. All right, just checking in on my viewers here. Let's go, it's fine. I don't know in regards to what he's saying, but let's keep going on. <laughs> All right, guys. We're about to, uh, to save the prophet. All right, we got him. Good job. Lyris? Oh, there you go. Whoa, you're tall. Or I'm short. Wait, are you tall or am I short? Okay, you're really tall. I, that's too tall. That's too tall for, for any lady. At least for me to date. So we're going to be going steady. You're going to have to take off those high heels. You're not even wearing shoes. That's gross. You're going to get fungus. <laughs> alright, continuing on. <laughs> alright, alright. All right, let's uh, enter the prophet's cell. Got it. Let's sneak around a little bit. Here, got our knife out. Sneak knife. Oh man, that was my brother. All right, moving on. All right, Abiana, take me to where I need to go. All right, spikes there. Don't run into spikes. Got it. Uh, now. Got it. Well, what are we looking at? Take me to the right place, other online player. Ooh, earn. What? Uh, he's going that way. Let's follow him. Oh, there's another one here. Lamely. Whoa! What the hell was that guy? All right. Uh, all right, we're seeing some other players here. This feels like an MMO now. Where, uh, you know, you're sneaking quietly through this cave and these people are just in here jumping around and rolling all over. Stealing my loot. Oh, this one, this one's mine. Alright. Wine grapes. I do like grapes. There's some people who peel their grapes. Isn't that weird? Alright, where are we going here? Got a, got a lady over there. Let's see what's going on here. This is not the right way, I'm pretty sure. These people are leading me to my doom. <laughs> let's, let's let's turn around and go this way. Alright, this has got to be the right way. This is, this is not the right way, but there's a chest here. Oh, nice, with an upgrade. Let's go ahead and put those on. Equip. Look at that, I got some new pants, guys. You're looking sly, Tranquilian. Tranquilius, divine. What a great name. <laughs> oh god. Get it. Give me that heart. Right there. Alright, done with you. Let's go this way here. Whoa, good thing I stopped right there. Man, that was dangerous. I feel like. What's this heat stuff going on here? Alright, that's cool. Alright, brown malt. Got some lock picks. All right. Oh no! <laughs> I got stabbed. I got impaled. 
Dude, I swear, am I going the right way or not? So what do you guys think about this combat system? I don't know how I feel about it, you know? I'm just kind of jamming buttons, but I guess that's how it is in most games, right? You just kind of jam buttons. I see a door up ahead. Awesome. Oh, no. Okay. We're good. Let's, uh, let's do some climbing. Good stuff. It's bright in the morning. The prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. I'm right behind you. Oh no, my stream. Oh, it's okay. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, there he goes. Let's put that away. Alright, good news is we made it here in one piece and the prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. What? I'm not going with you. Ah. How are we going to go on our first date to the movies? We're going to watch 300 and Troy. I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. Mm. We've Those been through a lot together, Lyris. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the prophet. Oh, don't do this. There's got to be another way. How are we going to get our firstborn children? see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've loved. You're right. Loved. You're right. You need to get in there right now, and the Prophet needs to get out here. To now. And I'll we'll keep him fine. safe. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. I will. will I will move as fast as I can, Lyris. I understand. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta go quick. Jump here. Let's use this thing. I like how he uses the uh, the objects. He's like, no, oh, my eyes. I can't look that way. Try that again. No, my eyes. All right. It was good to know you! No! Oh, I got this old guy now. Kaita divines you are safe. There is that at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Ha! <laughs> we gotta find a way to take her. With us. Me and you. I wish that were possible. But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together. Vestige. Vestige? What? That's not my name. I'm divine. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self. Gotcha. I'm not divine. An empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. Why does Lyris call you the Prophet? That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Got it. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now. Must make haste to the anchor. Okay. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Kenta. I can use one of these anchors to return us to town. You got something in your throat. Must lead me I can use. All right, stay close. All right, did we level up yet? Oh, we got an attribute point here to use. Let's pump up our stamina. Commit points. Good job. Awesome. Alright, we're going this way. Right? Yeah, we're going this way. We going this way? Yeah, we're going this the right way. Where are we going? There's something I'm missing here. Oh, okay. We're going up here. Good job, Prophet. You can zoom out quite a ways. Look at this. And when you zoom out, it seems to center your guy right in the middle there. So, it's kind of neat. And in 
third person view, it kind of pans the guy to the side, so you can actually see. Alright, let's hurry. Ooh, chests and some locks in it. I do like locks. Urns with some corn mash, thin broth. That's all. Come over here. Take that. Ha. What the heck is going on over here? Oh god. This is not good, guys. Oh god. Are you serious? Get him! Come on, Prophet! Do your job! What are you doing? You're just standing there! Haha! -ha. Stab you again! Oh god! That hurts! Ow, ow! Yeah, heal me! There you go! Not good! I love how I'm just slashing at his crotch. That's how we fight in real life. Gotcha! Ooh, he fell right on me. Alright, let's see what he's got. Ooh, I do like that. Let's take those. Talk to the prophet. The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. Gotcha. To do this, you will need a sky shard. A sky shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Hmm. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. I'm ready. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. Nice! We got it. We got it, guys. Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Whoa, blessing. look at the lip syncing. It's pretty good. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Ah, uh, don't leave me! Oh god. Uh, I wasn't supposed to jump into there, I think. All right, let's try that one more time. <laughs> oh no, my item's broke. It's never good. All right, <laughs> let's let's press E. That works. Doesn't make much sense, but that works. Awesome, we did it, guys. We got through the tutorial in one piece. I'm excited uh, to see what happens next. I hope you're excited too. Bum ba dum 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 ba